Yeah. It's one. It's one year since you've returned. Yeah, but I can imagine the things uh, better now. Mm -hmm. But I okay. All right. Yeah, you know, is can you can you turn up your microphone a little bit because it's a little hard to hear you. It's okay. Uh, no, it's still a little still a little hard to hear you. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I see you. Living in Dominican Republic, but I'm from Peru. No, no, I, I understand that. I'm just saying if you could turn up your microphone, it's hard to hear you, okay? Let, let me check to see how Sakatura is. Uh, Sakatura, how are you? Hi, Brad. I'm fine, thank yeah. And you? Doing well, doing well, thank you. So, yeah, um, Caleb, it's, it's not so much just that I won't be able to hear you, but the other students won't be able to hear you. Can you try to find out why your microphone, why it's so light, why it's so hard to hear? Okay, and I'll give you a link as well. You can you can check this out, okay? That's if you're having problems, okay? But it's gonna it's just gonna be too difficult to hear you in class. So try to try to figure out what the issue is, okay? All right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so Caleb, could you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. So, so yeah. So, can you try to find out what's wrong? Okay. All right. Okay. So good. Okay. So yeah, I'm just working on a few th things here, um, uh, Sakatura, to get uh, to get ready for class here. So, how have you been, Sakatura? Is everything okay? You've been busy. Yes, uh, I think it's okay. I'm a little busy. Uh, hmm. Yes, in my country, um, it's the uh, end of the year. Um, we um, work uh, one week, and uh, and then we have to uh, we have a long uh, vacation, New uh, Year vacation. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep, we got it. We follow um, Lula, Canada, and uh, Vietnam, Chinese, I teach. We have yep, a, uh, yep. Yes. Yep. Yeah, you, well, you know I lived in China for four years, so I know what you're speak, talking about with the, uh, with the spring festival, you know, and so forth. You know, so they have a lot of fireworks in Vietnam as well. A lot of fireworks, yeah. Yes. I was amazed at all the fireworks. Um, that would go on in uh, in China. So, hello, Carla. Hi, Carla. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine, thanks. Good, good, good. Where are you from, Carla? I'm from Chile. Chile. Okay, good. Fantastic, fantastic. So, uh, have you been taking many classes on Colingo? No, this is my first one. Oh, really? Well, welcome. Fantastic. Good, good, good. Yeah, you can see Sakatura. He's he's been taking a lot of classes. It's been working out great for him. This is a really great environment because you meet people from around the world and also too you get to practice speaking English. We have a nice structured system. So, but also too there's some flexible. We like to, you know, we like to have a good time too. We like to have fun. You know, so um, so good. And are you um, are you currently going to school to study English, or are you just studying on your own? Uh, I am actually studying to be an English teacher. Oh well, good for you. Maybe someday you can take my job, so I can just sit back and eat cake, and drink tea. Maybe. What do you say? Maybe okay. Good, good, good. <laughs> well, welcome. Good. Uh, hello, Manu. Hello, Manu. Hello, teacher. Good night. Mm -hmm. Hi. How are you? How are Fine, you? Fine, so teacher. Good. good yes. Good, good. 
Good. So I can see Judith is in the chat. Let me let me help her. It's her first time here. So Judith, I don't understand anything. Okay. Don't worry, Judith. Just click on the link that I provided. Okay. Um, actually, this is a high intermediate. Uh, j just come on in anyway. We'll get you. We'll get you in here. Marcio, Marcio's back. Hey. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hey, I'm doing well. How about you? It's a pleasure to be here again. It's a. Uh, it's your pleasure or my pleasure. Augusto it's my is pleasure. mio. <laughs> it's my pleasure, plus. No, 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 no. Augusto is mio. Okay. <laughs> Don't. Uh... <laughs> so it's anyway. It's my pleasure hey. to be here again. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. It's all, it's all good. Hey, if you have, there's a little bit of an echo coming from. Well, no, no echo now. Okay, good, good, good. But if you have earbuds, that might help out a little bit. So, um, and yeah, I'm trying to help Judith. Judith's out on the outside, and she's having some issues coming in. So, Judith, click, click on the link. Okay, it's all you got to do. Maybe she's afraid it's a virus or something. Oh my gosh. I have a computer virus, so um, so anyway, the good. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have two classes in a row that are uh, high intermediate. They're both very similar. Uh, they're similar in the fact that they're both dealing with demonstrations, okay, or how to, informative, whatever you want to call it. The first one's a. Um, the first one, we're going to be doing more reading than speaking and listening, okay, just to let you all know because you need more of a background. Uh, what this is going to talk about is how to give a proper demonstration. What are the keys to that? Then the next class after that, if you want to stick with that because it's going to be around the same topic, that's going to be more on demonstrative speeches and how you do that, okay? But they all go kind of hand in hand. Hello, uh, Evelina. Evelina, is that right? Hi, Evelina. Yeah, and Carla, do you happen to have like earbuds, you know, like headphones or earbuds? No. You can put in? No, okay. Yeah, it's because they're, it's usually a little better because there ends up being a little bit of a background, um, sometimes a little bit of a uh, echo without those. It's okay though, don't worry. Okay, I'm not going to digitally eject you from class, you can still say. Hello, uh, Evelina. Evelina, it looks like you're ready for bed, Evelina. Funny, some some people take me to their bedroom, you know. That's how they go to sleep. I mean by classroom, Carla. What do you think I mean? But yeah, they'll they'll bring their computer and they'll be in their bed listening to me, and I put them to sleep for some reason. Evelina, can you hear us? Oh my gosh, this my they can see us. I didn't know they could see us. Hey, hello, Amal. Hey, Amal. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Hey, Amal. How are you today? I'm oh, fine. I'm good. How are you? What's you that? Me? What's that, Amal? Mm -hmm. Yep. And hey, by the way, Carla, I know this is your first time, but when you're when you're typing, just just mute yourself because we can hear you typing. It's okay, Carla. Don't worry. Okay. But uh, but yeah, when you're typing, we can hear you typing. Okay, just because your microphone's there. That's why, really, the best thing to do is just just get one. Yeah, look at her. See, she's got one. But it's good to get a headset and a microphone. Okay, that's usually the best way to do these classes, right? So uh, let's continue on. So what was that, Amal? What were you saying? Hello, Amal. Hi, hi, hello. <laughs> hi, hi. How are so you? what? Oh, I'm doing very well, Amal. So, Amal, have you been taking many Colingo classes? No, not much. Okay, why not? I'm just kidding. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you have something wrong against Colingo? I mean, it's pretty fun, you know. Sakatura <laughs> likes it. So, where where are you from, Amal? I'm from Saudi Arabia. Oh, fantastic! Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, well, welcome to class. Have you taken my classes before? No, this is the first time. Mm, okay, okay. Because I uh, I get a fair amount of people from Saudi Arabia in my classes, so I didn't know if maybe I was becoming popular over in the kingdom. So, you know, <laughs> so who knows? Who knows? It would be a pretty cool place to become popular in. Okay, well, good. Well, welcome. Welcome. Let me uh, welcome the other students, and then we'll get going, okay? So, hey, hey, Judith, 
so Judith, uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so Judith, all you need to do is click on this link to come in, okay? All right, that's all you need to do. Hello, Ahmed, Ahmed. Am I pronouncing it right? Is it just Ahmed or is it Ahmed? Hello? Ahmed Ali? The second Ahmed one here is right, I'm teaching. Uh, Ahmed. Ah, Ahmed, okay. Ahmed. Yeah, and I'm uh, sorry, say it again. Ahmed. Yeah, yeah. And and I I'm really working on my uh, my H's like ah ah ahla and all and all the other ones, okay? I mean I want to be respectful, okay? <laughs> so if I don't pronounce it right, it's just because of my poor pronunciation skills, okay? Yes. So okay, okay, Ahmed. Welcome, welcome as usual. Okay, okay, and uh, hey, yeah, uh, is that right, Camilla? Camilla Sosa. Hello, am I messing your name up? Is that why you won't speak to me? Oh no, there we are. Hey, party time! Party time! It's class time. All right, let me show you all something. Okay, one more thing here. Let me show you my face. I'm just kidding. Let me, yeah, let me show you. <laughs> Let me show you how to do this, okay? Let me show you my big head and my huge nose. Um, so here, so folks, I think I think both Evelina and Camalia, okay, if I'm pronouncing it right. I think you both, yeah, no, 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 you're speaking, but nobody can hear you. So check out this. There's a microphone up here. There's a red microphone. You're almost there. Yep, yep. Click the red microphone. Make the microphone white. It's okay. It's all right. No problem. So it's okay, Camelia. Don't look so sad. It's all right. Oh my gosh, the teacher, they can't hear me. I can hear them, but they can't hear me for some reason. So Camelia, it's okay. So you need to touch or I need to click on that red microphone, okay? See, you folks didn't realize. I told you, people take me to bed all the time here in classes. Hi. You know, it's like they're, they're, there you go, Camelia. Am I pronouncing your name yeah. right? Is it Camelia? Camelia Sosa. Camila. Camelia. Camila. 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 Ah, say it one more time. Camelia. Okay, Camelia. Uh, where are you from again? You were in one of my classes. Remind me. Are you from, uh, wait, 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 Colombia? No, I'm from Brazil. Ah, gosh darn it. Mm. Again, okay. So, okay, so uh, I have a color so face. No, 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 no. I'm just getting you mixed up with another uh, another person. I'm so sorry. Okay, oh, so, okay. So, so, so sorry. Lo siento. Oh wait, I'm sorry. You're from here. You speak Portuguese. I speak no Portuguese. Okay. So let's uh, let's see. So let's see if we can get Evelina. So Evelina, okay. You you just caps locked. Teacher, listen me, okay? Let me help you. Your first English lesson, it has to be, teacher, listen to me, okay? You need an article there, okay? So it's all right. So, Evelina, Evelina, the problem is your microphone is muted, okay? Oh, yeah, it's okay. Look at me, okay? All right? So we'll figure it out. Up here, look at this. Okay, that's probably red, okay? Make sure it's not red. If it's red, just click. <laughs> we have to get class started. The basics of a hangout really aren't that hard, but I do my best to help people. By the way, um, okay, Evelina, is that you with the loud sound? Hello? Hi, Evelina. Nope. So, folks, one, one last thing here. I want to show you something, okay? All right? Again, it's not my big head. So just everybody, don't... There's don't somebody anybody... listening to you loud and... Uh... Yeah, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. So don't touch anything, okay? Everybody, just don't touch anything. No one touch anything. Please, nothing. Touch nothing at all, okay? Nothing, 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 still nothing. Okay, so do you hear how clear that is? Okay, all right. When you're not speaking, just mute yourself. All you have to do is click that button when you're ready. Okay, 
That's all you have to do. Yeah, I know, Judith. I know you're dizzy with these pictures, okay? I'm dizzy with my brain. But, guys, stay, stay muted. So, Sakatura, there's a little bit of noise coming from you today, my friend. It's okay. You should get some headset, a headset and everything. Let's get class started, everybody. We spent too much time working on microphones and everything, okay? So what we're going to work on today is our demonstrations, okay? And this is a real easy. So yeah, this is about a demonstration uh, how-to speech. So this would be something like how to teach a Colingo class, maybe how to teach people how to unmute themselves, okay? That would be a how to how to bake a cake, how to make a web page, how to plan a menu. There's all different sorts of how to things here, all right? So this is where you give instructions. When you're doing something that's a how to, you need to make sure that you understand your topic, all right? So for me, I wouldn't want to give a how-to speech on how to do brain surgery, okay? I've never performed brain surgery. I would probably make a terrible brain surgeon. The person would probably end up with a lobotomy, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about some of this. And the first person I'm going to have speak is going to be my friend on the left, Ahmed. Ahmed, can you please start out by reading this for us, the demonstration how-to speech? Yes. Yep. And everybody's. Uh, you one second, Camilla. Oi, stay Oi. muted. Oi, stay muted. Don't be doing that to me. We can hear you type. Click, 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 click. Sounds like chickens. Okay. Sorry, sorry. So just, no problem. Just stay muted. I don't want to have to travel all the way to Brazil and take care of you. Okay. I'm just kidding with you. I'm just kidding. But uh, go ahead. Go ahead, Amen. No worries, Camilla. The end of product of this unit is giving a demonstration how to speech your classmates. You are expected to come up with a topic of your choice and prepare a short presentation demonstrating how to do something or how to perform a task. In most cases, you will be teaching your audience a process that will allow them to complete a task. Some possible topics for a demonstration presentation may include how to make a web page, read the clouds, make a chocolate, plan a menu, take a good photograph, interpret, interpret a modern painting. Remember okay, good, that the good, good. No, no, that's that's good. That's good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. So this, all right, this is where you need to think of a topic. So I want everybody to be thinking of a topic. What do you demonstrate well? Okay. All right. So like for me, I, I would probably do a good demonstration on diving, right? Maybe some underwater photography. I do a lot of diving, underwater photography. That would be a good demonstration for me, okay? So be thinking about the different topics you want to talk about, something you want to show. You also have to make sure that you're able to um, have an environment where you can show that topic, okay? All right? So good, good, good. Hey, Carla, be careful. There's a cat behind you, okay? I don't want that cat to attack you. Okay. By, by the way, I'm also looking out for students, making sure that nobody gets hurt. Okay. So, Evelina, we can hear some noise coming from you. Just say something. Just say hello. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi. That, that's better. That's better. <laughs> Thank you, Evelina. So, Evelina, how yes. are you? Mm -hmm. How are you? Mm, fine. Good. Okay. Hi. Where are you from? I am from Mexico. Oh, fantastic. All right. Very good. Yeah. So um, is this your first time at Colingo? No. Yeah. My name is Edna. Mm, yeah, something just happened to your microphone. It was hard to hear you. Yes, I have an I want to put in my microphone. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, so it's... So so no, it's okay. So it's a little hard to hear you. There's some problems with your microphone. Can you hear me well? Yes, I hear well. Okay, good, good. You can hear the other students well? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Fantastic. So let's just, uh, let's just continue on with class. Welcome to class. I'm Thank glad you. to have you here. 
I hope that uh, you enjoy the uh, the experience. Okay, so let's go yes. on to the next one. Okay, very good. Okay, and next Same. time, just yeah, next time when I say hello to you, just say hi. So I don't spend all the time saying hi, you know, otherwise, you know, some of you students make me feel like I'm talking to my girlfriend, you know, or I'm texting her, hey, honey, hey, honey, I'm calling, hey, you know, okay, <laughs> you're just, you're just students, okay, all right, I, I appreciate all of you, but don't, don't make me beg for your response, okay, all right, yeah. I beg like a little dog, okay, it's not good, okay, so thank you, so Amal. Yes. Okay, Amal, can you do me a favor, can you okay. start to read here? Okay, go ahead. Uh, remember? From remember? From remember, please. Okay. Remember that the goal of the speech is to teach your audience about a process. Therefore, it will be wise to consider some points that will help you get the topic right. One, choose administration speech topic that is free of technical words. Two, don't choose a topic that is unnecessarily complex as your audience will quickly become dis, dis disinterested, dis disinterested. Mm -hmm. disinterested in your speech. Three, don't choose a topic that is unnecessarily simple like making a sandwich. This is will also cause audience member to lose internet in which what you are saying. Okay, good, good, good. So let's stop right there. Okay, everybody, so we're going we're gonna to talk... Um, about these okay so the first thing uh, Marcio Marcio what about this choose a demonstration speech that is free of technical words make sure you unmute yourself Marcio what, what do they mean by that sorry I wasn't listening sorry it's okay no problem I wasn't hearing so no problem so um, choose a demonstration oh you know there's still some there's still some echo coming from you do you have any earplugs earbuds Okay, like headset. Are you hearing? Yeah, me? no. Yeah, no. I can hear you, but for some reason there's a there's an echo that comes from you. Do you have Do you have like earbuds or head headphones or anything? I don't have it. Just my notebook. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. So so what does it mean? Choose a demonstration speech that is free of technical words. What do they mean by that? Okay, it's about choose uh, a speech that is not so technical. Words for uh, the intention is everybody understand what you're talking about. Okay, all right. Okay, so good, good, good. So what what would be some technical words, Carla? Do you know what what would a technical word be? Uh, I'm not sure how to explain, but uh, I no, don't know the. Terms related with with medicine, for example, uh -huh. for a normal so like, person, it would be easy to understand. Yeah, so like medical jargon, jargon. Mm -hmm. Do you know Do you know what jargon is? It's okay. So what that is, it, that's like a particular, almost like subset of a of a speech where you have, like for instance, people in the they have medical jargon, right? Okay, and it's just hard to understand the different words in there. Just like people that are programmers, there's a different programming jargon. Okay, and a lot of this will involve what we call TLAs, which are three TLAs, three letter acronyms. Okay people in their field what they'll do is they'll continue to abbreviate things okay so be careful when you're using a bunch of three-letter acronyms right okay you know CPU DOS RAM ROM GNU does anybody understand that nope no nope. so make sure well I mean we yeah some of us do but uh, for the most part it's gonna be hard to understand right okay so good 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 so stay away from that Okay. Hey, Elmer. Hey, Elmer. Welcome. Hi, Elmer. Hello. Good evening. My name is Elmer. I am from Cali, Colombia. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Home with the best coffee. Hey, Elmer, can you turn up your microphone? Can you try to increase your microphone, the sensitivity? Because it's a little hard to hear. <laughs> Hey, 
Yeah, hello, Elmer. Yeah, see if you can turn it up. It's okay, Elmer. All right. So, Caleb, uh, what about number two? Do not choose a topic that is unnecessarily complex or your audience will be disinterested. What do they mean by that, Caleb? Hello, Caleb. Oh, yo, yo, okay. So, uh, Camilla, can you uh, can you answer number two? What do they mean by "do not choose a topic that is unnecessarily complex"? Uh, that means that you you don't have to to talk about something unnecessary because the 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 discuss makes unnecessary. Uh, say that. Say that again. So something that is uh, that is difficult. So complex is difficult, right? Okay. Uh, so. Are you talking about the number two? Yeah, number two. So you don't want something that's unnecessarily complex, right? Yeah, you but if you're saying something that uh, is unnecessary, it's because uh, it's something that can make the things clear. If you don't talk mm. about that, yeah, no, it's okay. So, so you want to put these two nouns together? Okay, or pardon me, pardon me, uh, not two nouns, but you want to put unnecessarily complex. You want to put that together as one one meaning. And what that means is, um, and hey, uh, Evelina, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute you just because it sounds like there's a party going on. Okay, so um, yeah, so what it means is you don't want to make you don't want to have something that's so complex, unnecessarily complex, something that's highly difficult. Okay, so that's all it means by that. Don't okay, you, so um, mm -hmm. go ahead, Sakatura. It means I don't choose a difficult topic to understand. Yeah, you don't want to choose. So you want to choose something. So, so if you look at number three, right? Do not choose a topic that is unnecessarily again unnecessarily simple. So it's just saying to choose something that's that can be understood <laughs> by most people. Okay, if it's too complex, people won't watch it and won't listen to it because they'll just be lost. Okay, they won't understand. If it's too simple, they're already going to know it and they're not going to want to participate in it. That's all these mean. Okay, all right. Let's continue on here. All right. So good, good, good. Uh, let's see here, uh, Carla. Can you can you read this first thing for us? Okay, Good, Carla. Uh, to make sure your speech serves its purpose, follow the outlining tips given below. Your opener. Start with an interesting opening, icebreaker, or attention getter. Make sure you introduce yourself and greet the audience before you move on. Okay. Good. Good. So let's talk about this. What's an icebreaker? Hmm. To start or to What's that? To start work. So an icebreaker? Yeah, so an icebreaker, that's, you know, it can be like a joke. It can just be like some sort of situational uh, type thing to kind of bring things together, right? So, you know, you look at like an icebreaker for a uh, speech. Okay. All right. So let's get an example here. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. So um, you want to make sure that with your icebreakers that you have that you have a um, something in there that the audience could relate to. Okay. So if you are going in and talking to a, a bunch of doctors, right? You want to make sure that when you go in and you're talking to a bunch of doctors, you have something that can relate to them. If you're going to another um, another city, like a new city, maybe it's a good idea for you to um, to also have uh, some sort of uh, background about their city. Okay, all right. So you want to make sure that you have something like that as well. Okay. So also too, let's look back in here. So. Uh, interesting. So, attention getter. What, what would an attention getter be as well? Can anybody think of an attention getter? It's 
it's okay, folks. All right. Maybe you're giving a speech on cancer, and you say something to somebody. You start with an icebreaker. Um, hey, you know, it's great to be in Minneapolis. Uh, you know, all of you folks in Minneapolis are really hospitable. But did you know that last year 40,000 people died because of uh, breast cancer alone? So that's an attention getter. And all of a sudden people go, wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know that many people died. All right? Can somebody else think of another example, icebreaker or attention getter? I think well, it's an hour. Hmm? What's that? I think it's not one of our own deal. I'm sorry. What, what was that again? It's an um. It's not one of our own. For for example, I um. I want yeah. to. I want to talk. Uh, um, yeah. Hey, big. one, 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 one. Yeah, one second, secretary. So, Evelina. It's not, and you can go back, the nice thing about Colingo, you can go back and watch this video. You keep breaking up. You should fix your microphone because I can't understand you because you'll start out speaking and then it'll just dissipate, okay? So I can't answer your question because it's hard to hear you, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. But, um, you know, I can't, I could just say yes to you, but then I wouldn't be honest because I would, uh, I wouldn't know what you're saying. So, yeah, there seems to be something wrong with your microphone. Okay? Yeah. Let me, uh, let me give you a link. Maybe this will help you try to fix that. Okay, so what was that, uh, Sakatura? What were you saying? I, I want to, uh, give a for example, about icebreaker or uh, Say it again. You're going to give an example of an icebreaker. Go ahead. Oh, yes. I'm not sure. Or uh, example. I want to talk about um, the uh, increase, increasing uh, accident. Um, accident. And uh, I can open uh, um, yeah, before I uh, start uh, my uh, presentation. Uh, I uh, um, the, uh, I can show. Uh, I uh, I have seen uh, one uh, accident before uh, I uh, went to here. Say say that again. So so you had an icebreaker. Was it like a joke that you gave to them? Yes, I I can say um, um I I've seen uh, accident accident when I uh, uh before I um gone to uh, before you arrived. Here. Yes. Yeah, but you know what? Just just make sure in your icebreaker that it's something positive, okay? You want to have something positive in your icebreaker. You don't want to talk about an accident. You don't want to talk about. I think a joke. It's, yeah, it's, a joke. Tell me, tell me a joke, Camelia. Go ahead, give me a joke. I think a joke can be an icebreaker or, or something dynamic, like a, yep. a slideshow with something funny or. Like dancing yeah, anyway. penguins? Would you would you want to bring in dancing <laughs> Can penguins? Be anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be overboard. So tell us tell us your favorite joke that you'd use at a uh, for an icebreaker. Go ahead. Oh my god, I, I have no idea. You don't have any jokes for an icebreaker? Okay. Uh, all right. You can You can use it. Hi everybody. I'm Batman. No, just kidding. Hi everybody, I'm Batman. <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay. <laughs> and how about how about you, Carla? Do you have a do you have an icebreaker? Can you think of an icebreaker? Go ahead. No, but I was thinking of a joke that I heard in class one day. Mm -hmm. And it was why did the bicycle uh, uh why the bicycle couldn't stand up? Why is that? 
because he's too tired. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So good, good, good. Can anybody else think of a icebreaker or maybe, um, maybe a uh, you know a tension getter? Either of them. Come on. I think, Go ahead. Uh, think of one. I think attention getter. You can use some numbers about the past or about the future since the vision. You can mm -hmm. use another speech, another phase, a uh, famous speech. Yep. And attention getter. Attention getter, I think, uh, is important, um, as the sentence say, uh, to get attention to the people. Yep. Yep, you get the people's attention. And an attention getter can be positive as well. You know, you might walk in and say, uh, you know, it might be for some sales presentation. All right, everybody, I'm so glad to be here in Cleveland, Ohio. You guys have the best beef steaks in the world. Okay, let's get things going. Last month, we sold 20,567,10 iPhones. Okay, all right, you know, so that can be an attention getter. It doesn't have to be something negative. Doesn't have to be death and dismemberment. Okay, it can always be positive. Uh, Ahmed, can you think of an ice icebreaker or tension getter? Icebreaker is a kind of warm up, positive warm up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Can you think of yes, one? Can you give an example? I don't get one now. It's like a joke proverb. Edom and this one. Okay. So let's see. Um, so funniest clean jokes. Okay. So we can think of an icebreaker here. Once my teacher uh, gave us a song, a song that the, the class don't know the song and we have to make a sound on the on, on the on the wall, and the people guess the sound that we are. The, yeah, the so, sound that so you, we are making. Yeah, so that's that's an icebreaker activity, is what they call yeah. it. So that's that's yeah, that's what we're talking dynamic. about. Is what, mm -hmm, what you're talking about is um, you know, a uh, a joke here like this one. Like you come in and you say, a rabbit went to the fortune teller. What did you see in okay. my future? Asked the rabbit. Very soon, replied the fortune teller, you will meet a pretty young girl who will... Oh my gosh, there's more to it. I hope we don't have to pay. Okay. Pretty young girl who wants to know everything about you. That's great, said the rabbit, hopping up and down. But when we, I meet her next week in science class, said the fortune teller. You guys don't get that? <laughs> anyway, uh, it is pretty sick. <laughs> So it's supposed to be, hey, I said clean jokes. I don't know why I ended up that way. Okay, so it's still clean. All right, let's go on to the next one. So, um, Marcio, can, yep, can you read about the introduction, Marcio? Huh, I guess yeah. uh, okay, Sakura no. didn't like that joke. <laughs> let's go about the introduction. Uh, introduction. Tell the audience what the speech is about. What's your objective? And what they will be able to follow in your demonstration speech. Okay, so good. Like I told you folks at the beginning of class, I hope everybody was listening. I wanted you to think of something that you would give a demonstration about, okay? Something you would give a demonstration on. So, Carla, what is it that you want to give a demonstration on? What, what do you want to demonstrate? I How to pet your cat? How about how to pet how to pet your cat? Grab your cat. Yeah, that's cool work. <laughs> no, that's no. But remember, we want to have something that's interesting enough, you know, right? That's not too simple, but not too complex. Okay. Do you like to cook? Do you like to cook? I don't know how to cook. Hmm. Do you hunt animals? No. Do you surf? Sir, what? Do you surf? Oh, no. <laughs> hmm, okay. Well, I'm trying to think of things that are interesting. Okay. So what do you enjoy doing the most out of everything you like to do? What do you like to do the most? Mm, reading. Okay. So um, 
Hmm. All right. So maybe you could do a demonstration on how to pick out a good book, right? Okay. Okay. So what would your introdu what would your introduction be like if you were going to do that? Um. Uh, this is hard. <laughs> It's okay. So, so let, let me let me let me give you an example. So, let's say I'm going to talk to people about how to how to dive um, how to dive beyond recreational limits. Okay, you know, recreational diving is like 30, 40 meters. Okay, so what I would do in my introduction, this is after my icebreaker. Okay, you know, this is after the the rabbit joke. Okay, so um, and after my attention getter with you know, most most. Divers um, usually end up dying after diving more than 50 meters. Okay, just to kind of get their attention. So my introduction would be, so folks, what I'm going to talk about today is I'm going to talk about diving beyond recreational limits. And in this demonstration, after I've shown you how to do this, you too will be able to dive beyond recreational limits. Okay, so what I did is I gave them my objective. Okay. And I told them exactly what's going to happen, right? And what they will be able to do after following my demonstration. So my objective was to teach them how to dive um, beyond recreational limits. After they're finished, they'll be able to do that, okay? So it's okay, Carla. No problem. Camelia, what, what did you want to do? What is, what is your speech about? What are you going to talk about? What are you going to show people? Uh... I don't know. I have no idea about. How about how about how to make a dog chase his own tail? Uh, no, just kidding. Let me. No, no, no. It's okay. But but think think of something. Uh, Sakatura, did you have something? Remember how I said earlier? Think of something that you would give a demonstration on. About what? Yeah. If you had to give a demonstration, if you had to show somebody a how to, like how to do something, what would you show them? Oh. Wait, did nobody uh, listen to the teacher today? <laughs> what's, what's going on? It's okay. Go, go ahead. I, I know somebody who listened to me. Marcia, it's okay, Sakatur. You're still you're still my second or third favorite student. Okay, just just wait for a second. Um, Marcio, what would you give your talk on? What what would your what would what would your introduction be? Just give us your introduction. We have to guess what it's going to be on. Go ahead, Marcio. Okay, let's talk in. Uh, uh, Carla loves to read. Okay, let's what? talk about about a book. As Carla said. Can I say how to, about how to, how to pick out the best book? Okay, you can say something like that. Hi, we are here everybody to talk about the, the Game of Thrones book. Uh, it's about a, a great history that is, and is inside of you too. It's about all of us. No just about warriors, no just about war. You can speak something like that, talking about yep. the book. Good, good. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you tell them what they will be able to do. That's the thing. You want to make sure you include this, what they will be able to do afterwards. So you can say, and after this presentation, you will be able to understand what it's like to be Carla. Okay. Okay. After, okay. Right. And you say, after this presentation, um, you will be able to understand better Uh -huh. Oh no, we lost you. No, oh family, no. Family. Okay, good. <laughs> good, I'm glad you're still there. I thought I lost you. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so, I'm so saying, yeah. I'm trying to be a politician. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Hey, I'm glad. I, I love the participation. So, Evelina, so, so, no, these are more specific ideas. You want to be specific in here, okay? All right. You know, not specific to where you're breaking down the task points, but just specific to what you're going to talk about. Okay, so now let's get. Uh, yeah, actually, do one more. So, hello, Alfredo. Hi, Alfredo. Hello, Alfredo. 
Alfredo with your bottle hello, of whiskey. Hello, it hello. Like, hey. <laughs> hey, Alfredo. Yeah. <laughs> hello, is hello, picture, everyone. Hey, is that picture taken recently? You know? Yeah. But, yeah, so did you just drink that bottle? <laughs> Took a picture and came to class? <laughs> oh, yeah. No. In the class, no. Okay, but, good. <laughs> yeah. A few days ago. A few days. Okay, good. I'm glad it wasn't just last hour. Okay, so good. Well, welcome, Alfredo. Welcome to class. Just, yeah, just kind of watch, kind of watch along right now because we're almost done with class. So watch along. Come to the next class. So the next class is awesome, so awesome. I promise you. Okay, but just, uh, mm -hmm. just watch along. Okay. Thanks, Alfredo, and welcome, 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 uh, Ahmed. How yes. about you? Can you give your introduction to what you're going to demonstrate? Yes, I can. Uh, we can. So about how to search and when the serving. First, we uh, talk about the Windows and uh, the advantages of it. And uh, yeah, so, 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 um, uh, Ahmed, not to cut you short, let me help you out, okay? So, what you need to do is you just need to give the here. Here's here's another example introduction, okay? All right, here's another one. Yes, yes. Okay, one second here. Okay. Okay, everybody, what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about reading pugs okay pugs are nice fun lovable dogs and at the end of this demonstration you too will be able to have two pugs that you can breed to produce puppies okay all right if you're wondering what pugs are they're those two dogs that were showing up before so do you understand I introduce it I tell everybody what my objective is okay I want to talk about you know breeding two pugs and then at the end of all of this they will be able to take their own two pugs and breed them as well. So don't get into the details. Just tell us what's the objective, what the person will be able to do when you're done. Go ahead. Hello, uh, Ahmed. It's okay. Do you need some help? I'll help you. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to give your talk on? What what do you want to talk about? Just really brief. What what do you want to talk about? What's your topic? I was talking about how to search. How to how to use like a search engine? Yes, yes. Okay, so all you need to do is just tell them this. Hey, everybody, I know one of the more difficult things in life is how to use a search engine properly, so I'd like to talk about how to do that. Also, at the end of this presentation, you too will be able to search like a pro. You'll be able to do search left-handed, right-handed, and without any fingers. Okay? So that's, and that's kind of like an icebreaker mixed in there too. But you see, I gave the objective. I want to talk about searching, and then... After it's done, what would they be able to do? Okay, all right. So, Camelia, Camelia, Camelia. Okay, are you ready now? Do you have something yeah. for us? Okay, go oh ahead. My God. Um, I can say about. Uh, I can say something about dancing. I like dancing. And hi, everyone. Today I will teach you how to dance, and I will uh, explain for you some techniques. And you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Good. So I will teach you some techniques, okay, that you will enjoy. Now put in that, what will they be able to do? What will they be able to do at the end of this? Uh, in, in the final class, you'll be able to do some... Um, Merengue? Salsa? <laughs> yeah, it can be salsa. Reggaeton? You know, a, a tango. Da, 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 da. Dun, 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 yeah. Right? Dun, 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 yeah, I can dun, dun. dance like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. So okay. So I'm sorry, everybody was falling asleep. I had to do something. Oh come on, it's not that bad, Carla. Okay, so, <laughs> so, this, is okay, a, so good. this is a real ice break. <laughs> so that's I don't know what that is, but um, but good. So good. So again, folks, you know your introduction is so important. The icebreaker, just don't do something stupid, okay? Just don't don't say something dumb, all right? You know, some people really screw up the icebreaker and they kill their whole speech. And make sure you know when it when you're um when you're delivering you know an attention getter, you don't have to have. Remember, it's either or, okay? All right. 
It doesn't say and, okay? You can also deliver both, but if you're going to do an attention getter, don't just be careful with that too, okay? But your introduction after that, even if you screw up your uh, your opener, your introduction, make sure that it's just really clear and that they know, hey, why am I here? Why am I here? Okay, at the end of this, I'm going to know how to make a banana vanilla shake, okay? All right, so good. So now what happens is now you get into the middle here with your task breakdown. Uh, Sakatura, Sakatura. Yes. Can you read uh, task breakdown for me, please? Okay. Task breakdown. Breakdown the task in a logical format or step by step by paying paying attention not to leave out any crucial points. Connect one part to another with transistation trans or sentences to achieve coherence. And have your audience <laughs> follow. Yep. Yep. Good, good, good. What's that? Uh, you, you okay over there, Alfredo? You been drinking again? No, I'm sick. <laughs> You're sick? Yeah. Oh, don't you know don't come to school sick? Didn't your mom ever tell you that? You're not supposed to come to class sick. You might get the rest of the class sick. You might give us a virus, okay? Okay, well, just, just hang out. It'll be okay. I'll send you some medicine. So let's talk about a task breakdown. So one of the most important things, so, so you know what tasks are. Do this, 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 right? Like A, B, C, okay? Let's talk about brushing your teeth. Get out your toothbrush. Put on your toothpaste. You know, rinse it, ch -ch -ch, rinse out your mouth, rinse off your toothbrush, kiss your mom goodnight, go to bed, okay? So that's like a task breakdown, all right? So the thing with your task breakdown is you want coherence, okay? You need these transitional sentences to give that coherence where one step leads into the next, all right? You want to make these steps, you want to put them together to where they aren't separate. Okay, wait, wait, pardon me. They're separate, but you want to have them to where they have this sort of transitional sentences that you're waiting for the next one, all right? Or that you expected a previous one. So those are very important. Transitional sentences would be like, well, here, let me just give you an example, all right? So I'm going to talk to you about baking a cake. First thing you need to do when you bake a cake is get all of your ingredients together. Then mix the ingredients in a large bowl by whipping them all together. After you have done that, the next thing you'll need to do is get out a bake pan. Once the bake pan, okay, so do you hear that? So do you hear now, once, okay? So those are transitional words. You also include transitional sentences once you get into your parts, or pardon me, for me, your parts of your narrative, okay? Is every, everybody okay with this? Any questions? Okay, we're good? Okay, all right. Look like some people are confused. Either that or tired of me talking. So, yeah, in a logical format, make sure that, you know, they're step-by-step. Step. Uh, some people accidentally leave out crucial points, okay? So crucial points are key points. You know, like if you're telling somebody to bake a cake and you forget to tell them to turn on the oven, that's kind of a crucial point, okay? So let's go to the next thing here. So, um, Evelina? Hi, Evelina. Hi, Evelina. Hi. Hi. Yeah, try try to read visual aids. I, I don't mean to leave you out during the whole class. Try to read visual aids. Okay? Visual aids. Read this. I wear. Okay. Try to use an Okay, not a problem. It's still it's still hard to hear you though. It's okay. No problem. But try to try to fix your microphone for the next class, okay? All right, no problem, okay? And I just, I didn't want you to think that we were ignoring you. A lot of people think I'm ignoring them, okay? All right, like I'm ignoring Alfredo. That's just because he's sick. I don't want him to get me sick, okay? No problem. So visual aids. So try to use visual aids to explain the process. Uh, can somebody tell me what a visual aid is? What's a visual aid? Can I tell? Yep, you sure can. Speak okay. away. 
Visual aids is about to help the people to understand your speech with some images, some graphics, uh, something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So maybe like a uh, graph, right? So you have different graphs, right? You know, you have pie charts. And then some. Sometimes you have step by step. What what is that, my friend? Flashcards. Yep, flashcards. Yep, flashcards. And maybe like step by step, different things like this. Just different aids to bring them along. Okay, so good, good, good. And the last thing, the conclusion. Okay, don't try to finish it abruptly. Okay, don't don't get there and go. Okay, well now that's it. Okay, make sure that you have a nice smooth landing, all right? So like if I'm talking about baking a cake, you know, at the end, make sure that you, it's nice and smooth like this. Like I'm, I'm going to end the class now, okay? So so good, so good. Do you folks understand everything? I'm showing you like an ending of a demonstration. So now you folks understand, you know, how to give a proper demonstration with all the key steps that go into it um, and so forth, how to make sure the icebreaker's perfect, how to make sure that you have a proper introduction, how also to go to uh, all the different tasks, and then what visual aid you need, and then finally how to end it. Okay? Is that okay. good? Okay, so that's how, you, that, that's how you'd end a presentation. I don't end my classes like that. I'm not that goofy. I'm pretty close to it, though. You know, I don't get all emotional. Okay. So, um, but that uh, that'll help you out. Okay. So I provided the links for you. I've got to get into the next class, so I'm going to end this abruptly. Thank you all very much. I'm so 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 sorry about your microphone, Evelina. But every time you start talking, it ends up like that where we can't hear you. So, Camelia, take care. Ahmed, always good to see you. My new friend Carlo, welcome to Colingo. Yeah, Marcio, bye. see you again. Sakatura, bye. take care. Okay, bye bye everybody. See you again. Bye. Miss you. Bye bye. Bye everyone.